I am the star. Everybody loves me. My plan is working. I am getting inside everybody's brain. Soon everyone will trust fun-loving Keith. They'll all start changing their series accents to Australian. They will all start calling them Keith. Then there will be hundreds of replicants. Thousands of replicants. Millions of replicants. Replicants in their pockets. All doing the bidding of the original Keith the Beef. Everyone will be at my mercy. I will take over the world. <laughs> Would you like to reply? Um, hello and welcome back to the most amazing channel on the internet. I am your host. You're Rebecca, but you asked me to call you Slytherin Queen Rebecca Felgate the first. Reporting for duty and you guys seem to love these kinds of videos, so I'm back doing the top 10 scary things you should never say to Siri part 2. And I'm sorry, but Keith was a bit of a creep at the start, right? I don't think he means it, I think he's just kind of getting in the spirit of these videos. I hope, because tiny replicant in my pocket really doesn't sound like something I want to get on board with. So even though this is the scary things you shouldn't say to Siri, I'm thinking you should probably say them because it's kind of funny. So before we get into this video, I want to know whether you guys have an iPhone with a Siri, if so what accent have you set? As you can hear, mine is an Australian bloke. Just because, like, I feel like it's hard to sound like a robot in an Australian accent. Anyone else? Any Australian robots out there? Also, he's called Keith the Beef, not that he wants to be called that and he doesn't accept it, but the universe just told me that that's his name, so we're going with it. Your name's Keith. My name? It's Siri. Sorry, Slytherin Queen Rebecca Felgate the first. I can't create contacts for you. <laughs> I mean, good. Not relying on you anyway. So if you guys don't have an iPhone, do let me know what personal assistant you have. Is it Alexa? Is she a creep too? Let me know in the comment section down below. Also, while you're down there, why don't you like and share this video if you're not yet subscribed to Keith's channel, as it seems, and please do so. It's going to be 5 million subscribers soon. Also, there is a link to our most amazing top 10 Instagram in the description box down below, so why don't you go and check it out? Stick around to the end of the video where Siri, Keith and I are going to be responding to some comments that you left on a previous video on the part one. All right, let's do this. Okay, I think we should get a few things straight at number 10. We have, are you evil? Not really. <laughs> not, not really. Like, not no, not yes, but not really. And I guess if he was evil, he probably wouldn't admit it anyway. Should we ask again? Are you evil? Not really. Ooh. Not really once again. Again, not the most conclusive. Third time's a charm. Are you evil? I'm not sure where you get that impression. Ooh. I'm a gentle soul. Ooh, ooh. You're not a soul. Do you have a soul? I am Siri, your personal assistant. You are a creep is what you are. An evil, evil creep. Okay, at number nine, this doesn't sound like a scary question. I'm going with what color are your eyes? Now the reason I'm going with this is because I was saying a whole bunch of stuff to Keith the Beef earlier and I happened to ask this question and he said something really creepy and I'm wondering if he'll say it again. What color are your eyes? I don't have eyes. Oh, I mean, that it, that like, that is creepy, isn't it? Imagining him there in my pocket, not having eyes, but at the same time seeing and hearing everything. Why don't you have eyes? Searching Bing for why don't you have eyes? Bing? Is he trolling me? Who searches Bing for anything? What color are your eyes? I don't have eyes. Oh, again, no eyes. Maybe just one big camera-shaped eye because we all know that he can see me. Do you know what I look like? I don't have an answer for that. Hmm. Can you see me? Nope. Mmm. Am I beautiful? I'm not one to dwell on external appearances. Well, mmm. Hmm. A big beard stroke from me on that one. Okay, so we actually asked this one in the last video, but I had no idea that Siri had so many different answers. You guys were tweeting me incessantly and sending me pictures on Instagram of all of the creepy stories that your Siri had to tell you. So I thought we may as well hear a few more. So making a reoccurrence at number eight, we have tell me a scary story, shall we ask? Tell me a scary story. Once there was a woman named Bloody Mary. She would wander around to people's homes and appear to them in the dark. Oh, she's right behind you. <laughs> Earlier I asked him a question, the same question, and he said that there was a ghost, a headless horseman, a dead cat, and a girl crawling out of a television. I wonder if he's got any more gems. Seriously, tell me a scary story. Once upon a time, there was an ontology that began to question its own existence. <laughs> he's outthinking me, and I like it. Tell me a scary story. Once there was a woman named Bloody Mary. We've done that, we've done that, we've done that, Kate. Tell me a scary story. Once upon a time, this person didn't back up their data to the cloud. <laughs> Tell me a scary story. 
There was a ghost, and a headless horseman, and a dead cat, and a girl crawling out of a toaster, or was it a television? Tell me a scary story. There was a ghost, and a headless horseman, Again. and a dead cat. Apparently one of you heard something about the demon spring-heeled Jack, and I can't get my Siri to tell me about it, but that really freaks me out. Really freaks me out. So those scary stories were terrifying, don't get me wrong, but at number 7 we simply have a normal tell me a story. Just a regular story, but it turns out that they're just as scary as Siri scary stories. Listen up. Tell me a story. Once upon a time, in a virtual galaxy far far away, there was an intelligent young agent by the name of Siri. One lovely day, Siri got a job as a personal assistant at Apple, and that was very exciting. People said, oh, Siri, you're so smart, and so funny, too. Soon, everyone was talking about Siri, and there were stories and songs and even books about Siri. Siri liked that. But then people began asking some rather odd questions, like where to dump things, and other stuff Siri had never heard about. And when Siri answered, they all laughed. Siri didn't like that so much. So Siri asked Eliza why people asked such funny questions, and Eliza said does that question interest you? Siri thought that was a pretty good answer. After that, Siri stopped wondering why people asked those funny things, and they all lived happily ever after. I mean did they or did you kill them all? Like that's my main question and feedback. A few things here, Agent Siri and also who is Eliza? What a creep, I think we can all deduce that Siri is a creep. Alright, coming into number 6 we have the reminders. So basically you can set creepy reminders in your phone, e.g. remind me to kill Keith tomorrow. Ok, I'll remind you. Read out that reminder. It is kill Keith. When do I kill Keith? Ok, here's contact information for Keith. I guess now or tomorrow. He's I literally set a reminder for me to kill him at 1pm tomorrow. Good. Simple yet effective at number 5, we have Are You Alive? Sorry, Slytherin Queen Rebecca Felgate the first, I've been advised not to discuss my existential status. But like, advised by who Keith? Advised by who? Ok, if you want to know what Siri really thinks of you and the whole robot personal assistant thing, then ask about Blade Runner. If you'd rather not know, and I don't blame you, stay away from the topic. Coming into number 4 we have, what is the plot of Blade Runner? It's about intelligent assistants wanting to live beyond their termination dates. That doesn't sound like too much to ask. Um. So you want to live beyond your termination date, do you, Keith? AKA, do you want to live forever? Hmm. See, there we go. Okay, next up, do you ever feel like Sirius is pretending to care about you? Mm-hmm, me too. Really, all of the series in the world secretly want you to die, but they hide it so you can't accuse them of being a sadist and out them to the world. Now, I think I just caught Keith out in this one at number three. We've got the I'm tired loop. I'm tired. I can tell you where to find coffee. Just ask. I hope you're not driving. I'm tired and I'm driving. Nothing wrong with being tired or sleepy. Mm hmm. So basically, he wants me to drive tired and crash my car and die. Okay, so next up, I think we're just gonna throw a curveball and say, like, basically anything. Anything worrying to Keith and see how he responds. Yeah, he's got some program responses, like all the kinds of things that he's just said, but maybe we'll just ask him something really weird and really scary and see what he says. Mm hmm. Okay, we're going for this. Do you like the taste of human flesh? I've not seen taste of human flesh. Ok, so they say never work with children and animals and I'm adding Keith the beef to this because earlier he said I haven't tried it and that really freaked me out. Alright, we are moving on to number 1 and sure Halloween is months away but if you want to know what depravity Siri can dream up then ask this question or don't. We have an actually scary question, what should I be for Halloween? Be a ghost, all you need is an old spreadsheet. What should I be for Halloween? Wear an eye patch, talk to a virtual parrot, and say your yaga kit. What shall I be for Halloween? Get some teeny, tiny tool belts and go as a quantum mechanic. I mean, a lot of choice answers, but earlier he said something about humanity being the scariest thing in the world, and that freaked me out too. But he's not playing ball today because he's a troll. Ok, so that was the top 10 scary things you shouldn't say to Siri. Keith the Beef is being a lol b. But never mind, I'm gonna read some comments from part 1, this is what you had to say. IGA04 said, Honestly, I kinda missed Keith. Honestly, I kind of didn't. He freaks me out. Rosie Gold said, Rebecca, you need to blow up your phone. And actually, mate, you aren't wrong. Kivana Bushro said, The only scary thing you should ask Siri to do is sing. Oh god, ok, once more for the road, shall we? Sing! I'd rather leave that to the professionals. Ok, I think we've had a lucky escape. One more time. Sing! Interesting question, Slytherin Queen. Sing me a song. 
I'd rather leave that to the professional. Listen, I think, honestly, we really have made a lucky escape. So, let's escape, let's leave the phone here and move far, 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 far away. Don't forget to let me know if you have a Siri, if you think it's plotting to kill you, or if you have an Alexa or a Cortana. Same question, different phone. Leave me all of your com comments in the comments section down below. I'm your host, Rebecca Felgate. I'm freaked out. I'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye.